So this is a short little video to demonstrate the Triumph Trophy 900. Just to show you what it's like, um, clutch gears, brakes, that kind of thing, and a bit of a general ride on the bike. All seems to ride just fine. Um, it starts well, I can't actually find anything wrong with it. That tank has got, because it's a hot day, just let the air out of there. That's better. It's like the vent might be slightly blocked or something on it anyway. Plus that's just the noise the vent makes. Anyway, it seems to keep running okay. Anyway, just take a bit of a ride. Just rides really well, in fact. It doesn't smoke or anything, it all feels smooth. It rides nice. The rear brake feels, it's just the rear brake. The rear brake feels nice and powerful. The disc feels nice and flat. Same for the front. It all goes nice and straight. Yeah, it's just fine. Anyway, if you've got any questions, just ask, I'll tell you what I know about it. Triumph Trophy 3 900 for sale on eBay. In the paperwork it comes with its V5 registration document. No former keepers because it is a one owner from new. It has the owner's manual. It's got all of the old MOT test certificates. Um, with the current MOT running it in January 2016. There, nothing there on the advisories for that period. HPI check, um, goes into a few more details about that, where the owner was tipped off the bike and the damage was never repaired on it. That was years ago now. When was that done? Mm, 2014 was when it actually say years, it's not a year yet is it, thinking about it, but anyway, a while ago, so there's that. Um, there's a lot of old spy ball stuff and service invoices, there's the service book itself, it was serviced by Rafferty Newman's up to it was about 6,000 miles, and the owner has done the servicing on the bike since then, and that's what all this paperwork is here. There's loads of service technical data, a bit of valve clearances and things he's done over the years. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Um, it's just had oh, a bit more spy ball stuff there. It's just had the Sprague starter clutch done and the timing chain done, so that won't need doing. But looking around the bike, let me point out a few little things around the bike. Um, the fairing on both sides has been, um, I could say, repaired, loosely kind of sort of repaired. It's it's had some blue spray over it there. It doesn't. It's a good match, but it, um, you can see it's not right there. Looks like maybe a small repair on the bottom of the cover there, some paint or something to hide a scuff. Um, you can see there the left side of the fairing has been touched up a bit as well. Um, this seems to be where the oil um, seems to drip out. But what it seems to do is when the engine is running, it um, it drips onto the exhaust and if you were to stop and look at it you can just see a little bit of vapour coming out from the exhaust but it's not a big leak and it doesn't do it when it's static so I would think, I don't know for sure but I would think you could probably just leave it so just looking at the next picture there this all it, it could be to do with this pipe here although I doubt it because you do seem to get oil onto the exhaust system but this pipe here is kind of rusty and oily um, Back tyre wants changing quite soon, that's down to its tread wear indicator. Um, you can see the scuff on the exhaust there, which was never fixed after it got knocked off it. But that's basically it. The bike rides well, it's nice, it's it's smart, and it's it doesn't smell smoky or anything. It performs as it should do, it's all smooth, the engine sounds sweet. But anyway, if you've got any questions, do ask, I'll tell you what I know about it.